Hello YouTube. Welcome to my review on the Baofeng UV82L. In this detailed review, I'm going to give you an in-depth look at all the features and functions of this one-of-a-kind, affordable, unique UHF VHF radio. Here's a brief look at what all the equipment that this device comes with. As you can see, it comes with a dual band ex extended range antenna. There's the unit itself. It comes with a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery. It, excuse my camera for not focusing. It comes with a dual mode headset, and I'll go explain that in a second, what I mean by dual mode. And then there's your standard AC charger. The antenna is a dual bin UHF VHF extended range antenna. Its frequency range is FM 136 to 174 MHz, also known as 400 to 520 MHz. Here's the lithium ion 7.4 volt battery. This battery lasts a long time, it'll provide plenty of power. And this is certainly very rugged, so it will not break or crack. You shouldn't have any problems with this battery over time. The AC charger is a simple holster unit. You insert the radio in there. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And once the radio is inserted, the light will turn red, indicating that it's charged. When the light turns green, the device has been fully charged. One cool feature I would like to demonstrate real quick is that these radios, if you want to buy second batteries for if you intend to use this radio for more than 24 hours from non-stop use, then you, you can buy several batteries and you can have one charging without it having to be attached to the radio, as I'm demonstrating here. Well, that's a very useful feature, especially for people who use multiple batteries at once and plan to use it for extended range. You have a standard red LED indicating light letting you know that the, the charger or power adapter rather has current flowing through it. Most people think that's a useless feature but I in particular as a kind of a techie I like that feature. It lets me know that the AC adapter itself is working and lets me know that it's getting power and it's providing power for the holster. So those are useful features that not a lot of people think about. My only complaint is that the cord's a little thin. I thought I'd have trouble with it. Honestly, never really have. I toss these radios about a good bit. And so far it's held up pretty well. And finally that brings us to the unit itself. Here's the UV82L dual band FM transceiver. This is from Baofeng. And one thing I've noticed is I've had a couple products from them in the past and they are remarkably inexpensive for what their quality is. You got this good, I don't know if that's magnesium or aluminum. I believe it's aluminum, but it's this strong, strong metal and that's basically what most of the case that the plastic surrounds is made of. Um, it's got a circuit board in front of it, but other than that, I mean, you it would take a lot to break this radio. I mean, once again, I've dropped it several times, and you know, there's no indications whatsoever that it's ever been dropped at all. It's a very, very durable radio. One feature I'd like to point out is it has two press-to-talk buttons. Um, on the unit, there's it'll display your two channels or frequencies that you're using at the same time. With the most the UV5R, for example, from Baofeng, if you're familiar with their models, you have one button, and then you have this same button that says AB. So that tells you band your channel selection or frequency line A or B. With this one, you can 
transmit to either one without having to switch over to it. You just press the button. So the bottom button corresponds with channel B, which is your bottom frequency, and vice versa. One nice feature that Balfang has included is this handy headset that it comes with. It, believe it or not, comes with the exact same feature. Um, the Baofeng's other headset headsets do not come with this option. This was exclusively designed and had the with the intents for the V82L's dual transmit function. My only complaint is that the little um, pop filter that comes or or cushion whatever it is called, I'm not sure what the exact technical term is, it seems to, it tends to fall off quite often. So that would be my only complaint. Other than that, it's a pretty good build quality. Um, the speaker, the sound is a little more muffled than their other headsets, but you get used to it pretty fast. It's not that big of a drawback. And we're back with the unit itself. Put it back together real quick, just so I can give a quick demonstration of the device for you folks. Okay, upon turning it on, the device will, I believe by default, it is set to channel mode, not frequency mode. Channel mode. I have pre-uploaded pre the FRS and GMRS, I think it is, um, channels. They are the public band channels and, and whatnot for the device. And... The device gets very good range. Like it's a very powerful little radio. You're not going to find one this cheap and this nice. But once again, top frequency. That's my other radio in there. And your bottom frequency. So one of, with each button, that's a quick demonstration of how the dual push to talk buttons work. And it's the exact same with the headset. Top button, frequency, the A function, and then B function. Now, to the trick is, if you want to go into frequency mode, to turn it off, and you have to hold down the menu button at the same time when you turn the device on. That allows you to go to frequency mode. So then you can manually enter in your frequencies or whatever your preference may be for whatever listening purposes you have, whether you want to dial into a local repeater or that you just found out about or whatever you want. The software I would recommend using is Chirp. It's an open source pro pro software. Excuse my tongue and is very, very easy to use, and I think you folks would love to use it. Um, you will have to purchase a program, programming cable separate. The, these devices do not come with the cord, so be mindful of that when you order these devices. If you plan on programming it yourself, because you will not be able to program it to the full extent, on the radio itself. It will not give you all those functions that it will on the software. One thing you should take note of is the device build. It's a pretty tall unit. I like the looks of it a lot. It's got lots of functionality. It's a built-in FM radio that you can use. I don't have that turned on currently, but Cancel. it does have a flashlight and it has a flashing mode and it does have an alarm function that you can hit right now I have it turned off cancel. Cancel. so the device will just prompt cancel when there's no actual feature linked to the command and there you have it I believe that's it's not the most in-depth review but it pretty much gives you a uh, buyers input on the device itself I would highly recommend this device. Baofeng continues to make incredible products at prices that, you know, Motorola could never come close to or 
any of like Yesu or any of the one of some of the top manufacturers. And now they have their new lineup, Pofung. I know it's a silly name, but their radio is just basically the same, but they're a, even more durable and better built. And so they're making them better and better. So I can't wait to see what's in store for Baofeng next. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And thanks for watching, guys.